Hello, welcome back to uh, Wing Chun Chi Sao Tube. Um, I'm Sifu Sean, man, I'm here today with my brother Shane. Um, so, what we're going to have a look at, something real simple guys, um, but I had a question about it that I wanted to answer on here. Um, and that is basically, uh, what happens is, sometimes when you're in Chi Sao, you find that the person can always hit you if you're in your foot out position here. And you think, well, I've got my foot out, but for some reason, they can constantly hit, okay? Um, what I've figured out with my own students, and it, it just might be worth having a look at, is that this actually comes from having your fucks out too high in the seal and towel form. If you're always training for your fucks out to be up here, almost in like a ding sao position, then of course it's going to be really easy for that person to just go through to the centre. Even if I push my elbow on, you know, unless I'm really turned into it, I'm not going to stop this from happening. My fucks out is just too high. If my Fuxao sits low and then he tries to hit through to the centre, of course, my elbow is here. I can put that in between me and him really, really easily, yeah? So if you're Chi Saoing and you find that whatever happens, you're always getting hit underneath easy, have a look at your Fuxao position. Try to alter it, yeah? So just keep it so it comes down just that little bit lower. And so if that person is trying to do anything, he's just not able just to get straight through and attack your centre. It might be as simple as your fuck sow is just too high. It's a bit too close to ding sow. Um, so check it. Make sure your fuck sow is low, hand just above the elbow in your seal and towel. But also in your chi sow practice, yeah, make sure it's, it's mentality is to stay low to cover that arm position from the outside. It should be here. If it's here, yeah, you're going to get hit, guys, okay? So have a look at that. See if it helps. And thank you ever so much for your time today.